Well, guys, when it comes to indoor air quality, what are the two things we focus on the most? Temperature and humidity. Or what type of filtration system we're using in the home or in the building. But what gets left out a lot is CO2, carbon dioxide. High levels of carbon dioxide can cause headaches, nausea, dizziness, fatigue, all of those things. Now, what's high level? High level is anywhere above, in my mind, is when you're hitting that 1,000 parts per million mark, that's high. Outside, I'm gonna take a reading and I'm gonna show you. I'm in a downtown core area, so it might be a little bit elevated because of the people and the vehicles, but we should be reading around 400 parts per million outside. Okay, in my house, if I take a CO2 reading with my HRV off, I'm around 1,000 or just over parts per million. With the HRV running overnight, I'm down to around 750 parts per million. And the air feels fresher and I don't have that sense of fatigue and tiredness that I normally do with the HRV off. So I'm going to take a reading outside, then I'm going to take a reading inside. But what you guys need to focus on, if you do these free assessments of indoor air quality, especially for CO2 in a customer's building or home, and you show them this, that's ways for you to generate more income by selling them the appropriate fresh air methods, HRVs, economizers, so on and so forth. So let's take a reading outside and go from there. So fired up here, I've got the Testo 323 air quality probe. Okay, we got our green flash, that means we're connected to our device, which is the Testo 440, okay? Now we're outside right now, and you can see that the CO2 is at 417 parts per million, so we're pretty close to what I imagined. Uh, 54 degrees Fahrenheit and 35.7% RH. So let's go inside and take a reading inside. Okay, the room I'm standing in right now has an air handler, and basically this whole room brings back the return air from the office space. We have a um, return air boot there that comes in from the office, and you can feel some nice airflow there. So in this room, with the return air from the office, we are reading over 1,100 parts per million CO2. Now that is high. So next, what do we do? We question the customer. We ask, hey, do you guys experience headaches, fatigue, anything like that in this building? And we show them the readings on the 440 using the Testo 323 air quality probe. And when we do that, I guarantee you that'll raise some red flags for them and it could get you some work. So doing this is an integral part of checking air quality for your customer. So don't forget CO2 guys when you're checking air quality. It's not just about temperature and humidity, okay? You guys have an awesome day. Happy HVACing.